Welcome again to my studio, Grand Decor Interiors. A wall without art is like bread without butter. So today I'll show you some thrifty ways of creating wall art. Sources from which you can get great prints to create wall art. The first one is calendars. Calendars have great features that can create great wall art. This one is filled with English gardens, great for a traditional decor, a cottage, or even a cabin. Great pictures of gardens, great trains, a cost-effective wall art. Other calendars will have flowers, not a full garden, but flowers, which are great. This calendar I bought for $1.99. You can get calendars on sale, especially after the Christmas season. The bookstores will sell them all for cheap, $1.99, even 99 cents. And they have great pictures. This one is filled with great pictures. Flowers, botanicals, that you can use for wall art. I'm so in love with this picture. It's stunning. You could actually frame this and put this on your wall and you could actually use this as a jumping up point for the rest of your room to choose your colors and your fabrics. It's such a great picture. The calendars are great pictures, gardens, flowers, even wildlife. If you're looking for something for your wall in a cabin or a cottage or you have somebody in your home that likes to have those antlers and stuff, they may want to have wildlife in a frame. Calendars make they have great prints of wildlife that you can actually frame to use as wall art. All the calendars have landscapes. I make it a habit of collecting calendars because I know that they have great landscapes and flowers and gardens and I just love anything pretty, anything creative. I just love that this one has two pages. This is actually a 1989 calendar. It has two pages. Look at that. So pretty. You frame these, you put them on your walls. You have instant wall art. You don't have to go out and spend a fortune. Others have scenic places. Or historical sites, historical buildings. They make great wall art. I actually have here just a frame with a flower that I cut out. I have lots of flowers that I cut out from calendars and they are so pretty. It's unbelievable sometimes some of the prints that you can actually get from calendars. But check out your calendars next time. Don't just look at the date. Look at the pictures and actually save them. This is a, actually, believe it or not, this is a picture that was taken from a calendar, which I put in a frame. This is a great piece of art for your wall. It doesn't have to be expensive. So be on the lookout for calendars. This is another one I have. And this has like a compilation of different artists' work. If they're too small, you could actually do them in a grouping, in one frame or in different frames on your wall to create great wall art. So the next time you get your calendar, don't just look at the date and throw it out. Keep it. And one thing, remember, when you're creating your wall art from your calendar, try to use a frame. Okay? Never mount it. Like postcards, you can mount, but never mount your calendar, the print from your calendar, because they're pretty thin, and they will tend to wail a little, so they won't look smooth and nice. The best thing to do is to frame them. Okay? So, next time you get your calendar, don't just throw it out. Check it out. There's some great prints you can have, great wall art.